All right, here's the next phase of uh, our map activity. We're going to be dealing with distance and uh, map scale. So let's take a look at what we've got. You should take a look at your next map, which is the reading notes for section five. So it's the one that has the maps of Washington, D.C. So make sure you have those uh, and you'll be using those here in the next activity. So what is similar about these two maps? Take a moment, look at them. See what's, tell me about some things that are similar about them. Well, they both show Washington, D.C. in Route 395. So now what's different about these two maps? One possible answer that you might have is that the lower map has more streets labeled on it, and that would be exactly correct. So if both maps show Washington, D.C., why are they different? The basic answer is that they use different scales. Okay, and we're going to talk about this idea of scales and getting an understanding of how that plays into um, maps in general and how we can use them to better understand uh, the landscape. So what does scale tell us? It tells how the map size compares to the real size of the landscape. It also allows us to measure distance. So basically, um, the scale tells us how much land that we're covering on a particular map. So if you look at the scales, you've got one here that for every inch or two inches, you've got 10 miles. And over here, the same distance only covers a half a mile. So what is the scale of the upper map? And again, I'll say every one and five eighth inches represents 10 and every one inch represents 10 kilometers. Okay. So I'll say that again, every one and five eighth inches represents 10 miles and every one inch represents 10 kilometers. So then um, on the other map to the right, every one and a quarter inch represents a half mile and every three fourths inch represents a half kilometer. Okay, so you see the difference. I mean, one is in uh, metric, one is in standard, measuring miles versus kilometers, and that's something to think about. So you see the differences there. Um, make sure you know where the scale is on a map, and that'll help you understand uh, what it is that you're looking at and really how long certain distances are on that map. So which map is more useful for finding distance between Arlington, Virginia and Washington, DC? Take a second to look at the maps and which one are you going to use to be able to find your way uh, from Washington, DC to Arlington, Virginia? If you said the map to the left, you're exactly right. Now, we ask ourselves why. Why is that the map that we want that is more useful when going from Washington, D.C. to Arlington, Virginia? It has a smaller scale. It shows Washington, D.C. and its surrounding areas. Okay? And that's how you want to start thinking about this. Which map is more useful when finding the distance between the Lincoln and Jefferson memorials? the map to the right. And why is that the case? It has a larger scale. It shows more detailed areas of Washington, D.C. So again, you see how scale really determines how much detail there is on a map and um, finding distances between one place and another. What is the distance between the U.S. Capitol building and the White House? So now you're going to have to start thinking about using the scale to determine actual distances. So, so let's take a look here. So we're talking about it's about a mile and a half or two and a half kilometers. So let's take a look here at how that would work. What map would you use? 
the map to the right. Okay, again, the scale is smaller. So you see the U.S. Capitol, you see the White House, and now you're able to measure that distance by using the scale on the map. A good way to remember the difference between large and small scale maps is to memorize the following saying. Small scale, little detail. Okay. Large scale, lots of detail. So again, it's all about how much detail is on the map, how much distance is being covered, and this should help us get some understanding to be able to fill out this map uh, for this map activity. Okay, you guys are doing a great job, and we'll see you in the next activity. All right.